Hello, how are you doing? In this video, I'm going to talk about LLM tokenization. Have you heard the term LLM tokenization or LLM token, but you really haven't had time to go find out about it? Well, follow along with me for the next few minutes and I will totally get you up to speed on this topic. Okay, let's get started. LLM tokenization refers to the process of breaking down text into manageable units called tokens. Tokenization divides text into smaller units, such as words, subwords, or characters, which are the basic elements for processing by an LLM. When the LLM receives the prompt from the user, the LLM tokenizer converts the text in the user prompt into tokens. The LLM then processes these input tokens and generates a response in the form of output tokens. The LLM tokenizer then converts the output tokens back into text that the user can understand. Tokenization helps the LLM in reducing the complexity of text data, making it easier and faster for the language model to analyze and generate responses. So what exactly is a token? Well, tokens are typically represented as numbers. Each token corresponds to a unique identifier represented as an integer in the model's vocabulary, allowing the LLM to efficiently process and manipulate text. Let's walk through a simple example. Using a subword tokenization strategy, a word can be converted into one or more tokens. In a typical subword tokenizer in English, 100 words might be broken down to approximately 130 tokens. Different languages will differ in their ratio of words to tokens. Once the LLM tokenizer derives the tokens, it then uses them to construct a vector. In this example, you can think of a vector as an array of integers. The LLM processes this vector to generate a response. For cloud-based LLMs, where you have a pay-for-use pricing model, tokens have added importance. Examples of cloud-based LLMs are OpenAI's ChatGPT, as well as all the LLMs available in AWS Bedrock. For these cloud-based LLMs, Pricing is based on the input tokens consumed, as well as the LLM's output tokens produced. Note that different LLMs have different tokenizers and different pricing models. So as a builder, this will be one of the things you consider if you select to go with a cloud-based LLM in your system. Back to this simple example with 155 characters making up 25 words, it was converted into 30 tokens. So now you should understand LLM tokenization, the technical role it plays in helping LLMs process user requests efficiently, and how it plays a role in pricing when using pay-for-use cloud-based LLMs. Okay, thanks for watching. This video, along with all my other videos in the ML AI Knowledge Concepts playlist, are listed in the YouTube description. I invite you to watch other videos on my channel. If you like the way I'm sharing this content, please consider subscribing. When you subscribe, this really helps my channel grow. One last thing, we all love technology and we're all excited about all the innovation with the cloud, machine learning, and AI. But don't forget to carve out some time to live in the real world. Go outside, go swimming, go hiking, go climbing, go surfing. Get out and move your body. And if you do, tell me in the comments. I want to hear about it. And with that, have a great day. Thanks.